Health Watch and the holidays, a time for cheer and added stress, which often mean people drink more. Yeah, many Americans may fall unknowingly into a category known as gray area drinking. CBS 2's Meg Oliver has what you need to know. When I came up here, I didn't know anyone. Mm -hmm. I was in the house. It was a long day. It was a long day with just me and the baby. And you felt isolated? I did. Maureen Anderson is a married mother of four. She says that isolation is part of what led her to drink more frequently. It became less of an out of the house special occasion party thing to more of a at the end of the day time to have a glass of wine shut off my brain relax how did you like to drink you know when i was making dinner i'd pour a glass of wine and um would that lead to another glass of wine yeah it could be a bottle a night it could be a little more it could be less i could take a night off anderson didn't consider herself an alcoholic but a great area drinker Dr. Akash Shaw is the chief of addiction medicine at Jersey Shore University Medical Center. The term gray area drinker means someone who is drinking more than they'd probably like, but not so much that it's causing external consequences yet. Is this just another term for alcoholism? I think the term falls into this gray area because it doesn't yet meet the medical definitions of alcoholism, but I think that risk is there. Drinking nationwide is on the rise. According to the Journal of Addiction Medicine, during the COVID pandemic lockdown, drinking among women increased more than 50%. And for women with children under five, it shot up more than 300%. This is always a time of year where more clients come in. Nutritionist Jolene Park quit drinking eight years ago. This gray area drinking spectrum she gave a TED talk on the subject that's been viewed more than 350,000 times. Now she counsels people like herself to stay away from the bottle by eating healthy foods, exercising, and natural relaxation techniques. How do you know if you're a gray area drinker? Gray area drinkers can and do stop drinking. It's very, very characteristic. They um, stop frequently and say, you know, they have a, a night, they wake up the next morning and say, I can't keep drinking like this. Go get it. Anderson has gone two years without a drink. Come on. And is also now a certified recovery coach helping ready, ready. other women. What do you want people to take away from this? I want women to know that they're not alone, that, you know, we're expected to drink a lot and and be okay with it and to deal with it and to and to feel fine. We really are expected to drink a lot. It's it's everywhere. Meg Oliver, CBS News, 